What is going on, Safeman Army? It is Safeman Surge here yet again with another video and Happy New Year's. I hope you all had a great time with all your loved ones and that you guys took some time to get away from Twitter um, and just the internet as a whole. But there was a lot that actually happened within the Safe Moon community and with Safe Moon. Some things got announced um, and there were some updates given on the centralized exchange and also on the blockchain and now we have a potential nft marketplace that is coming as well so um, it's pretty interesting to kind of see how things played out as of recently we didn't get any kind of update on the card which i was hoping to hear more about given that we did get an update about the exchange and the blockchain but regardless, though, I think the updates that we did get were amazing, given that we're going into 2023 and we are in 2023 now. And I think the future of SafeMoon is still really, really bright. And there's a lot of potential for SafeMoon to continue to grow. And I think a lot of people got a lot more bullish about SafeMoon, given the updates that we got. And yes, there is still a lot that needs to be done and again you can see all of our products and beta tests uh but as far as what john talked about rich which was really the blockchain and the centralized exchange so the centralized exchange you know given that it is completed but they're going through the regulatory process that was pretty much the update on that if we actually take a look here at safe moon globus if we come down here we can see that the nft marketplace again arriving soon support for eth solana bsc polygon nfts um but ultimately what do i think about all the updates that were given i mean everybody knows everybody hopefully went and watched the the videos from john caroni on this you know you got the captain's log right here on their channel um so my thoughts are really in regards to all of this uh so here's kind of an update but this was on december 24th i am very much looking forward to the card so the card is still on the table as far as that goes um but again they have the centralized exchange really is what everybody's kind of focused on the blockchain he put the video out and it said on this this half of the year he kind of he should have just been more like transparent in regards to that but then he clarified a lot of it so it will be coming at the end of 2023 so the end of this year we hopefully will see the blockchain um and then the centralized exchange being done but going through the regulatory process i could see that happening in q1 q2 of this year um so it could be you know before march but then if not march to may we could probably see the centralized exchange now that orbital shield which john crony touched on is completed um and integrated now my thoughts on orbital shield great um i don't know all the nuances behind it um you know if it does provide better security which it does if you guys go and actually read up on it there is a lot of stuff that prov makes it a better product for us from a security perspective then we also had tmi which was token monetization innovation um, which ultimately just helps with the fees and everything you could read more about it on their page um, so all of this stuff is leading up to the centralized exchange that stuff the security stuff needed to be handled before we could release the centralized exchange and also the card and the blockchain ultimately now we know what the blockchain is going to ultimately be it's going to be proof of authority uh, we know the language behind it that it's going to be built off of so that's great now if we actually take a look here buying pressure is quite low 13.27 percent um selling pressure sitting at 86.73 swap and evolve got reactivated it was on pause for a minute there um but it is reactivated now we're at number 71 um so right now we're sitting at 702 holders as far as that goes if we actually take a look at dex greener here we can see that the 24-hour volume sitting at 266,000. um 
And Grove is going through the process right now from going from Grove token to Grove coin, which I believe they're also putting out their own blockchain. Um, so there's a lot of people who, that are putting a lot of their focus right now on Grove, which if we actually take a look here, um, they're no longer, it's paused as of right now until they do everything um, in getting the token converted over to the coin. Now they are going to be on different swaps and it's not going to just be the safe moon swap. So as of right now, my thoughts really on where I see the future of safe moon going and where we're going to be at. This is a big year for, I think, DeFi in general and as a whole. Um, I think a lot of tokens, um, especially projects that are on the SafeMoon swap, I'm seeing them all really try to narrow down what their goals are and what, what they're trying to put out this year. Um, so I think the last year or two even has been really a time for a lot of these projects to narrow down and put a lot of their focus on that their developed team, their marketing team, et cetera. And now they're trying to go into 2023 running. Um, and then hopefully once the bull market hits, probably given 2024, 2025, all the, the products that they hope to have are released and being in utilization by their holders. And that way they can hit that bull, bull run really strong. So, with SafeMoon, I think we do get the products this year. I believe that this year we will get the release. Now, because we're in a bear market, it's really, really hard to see a lot of price movement. There's a lot kind of going on within the current economic climate that is affecting crypto. And then you have all these other things that have happened in the last few months, given the FTX scam, um, you have all these different uh, court issues with certain like Celsius. And then you have like all these different things kind of happening within the crypto space that's hindering um, the price movement in general for the crypto market. Now that affects SafeMoon and any other token. It's not just SafeMoon is, you know, so low down in price. There's a, all the projects that all the, all the coins are down quite a bit. If we actually even just take a look cryptocurrencies i mean bitcoin sitting at sixteen thousand seven hundred and thirty five hundred uh thirty five dollars um so you see ethereum at twelve hundred dollars it's unreal bnb at 255 so you're seeing a lot of these projects i mean cardano at 26 cents 27 cents dogecoin at seven cents uh you know we're we're still pretty much at the bottom right now i mean it could even go lower depending on what happens moving forward um, i don't see a lot of things i mean tron here down significantly like solana um even shib so i think 2023 will still continue to be a bear market it will be continue to be a year where a lot of projects continue to build and release their stuff, but there's not going to be a ton of, you'll have small little bumps in prices and movement. But as far as safe moon sitting right now at three, zero, two, five, nine, six, we did see it come up quite a bit. Um, we did have some sell-offs, et cetera, but right now, I mean, it's, it's recovered somewhat, but it's still, I mean, it's still low uh, for the most part. And I think once we do see some products from SafeMoon, I don't see us going too much up in price. Um, I think we end off the year at maybe 201, maybe. Um, you know, even given that we do get the centralized exchange in the blockchain, and I know a lot of people don't want to hear that. Um, the reason being is because of the bear market. There's no reason why we're going to hit even close to a penny given the climate that we're in. And I could be completely wrong on this, not financial advice, but how we're seeing things right now within this market, I don't see us really hitting a penny anytime soon this year. Um, but then again, crypto is very volatile. There's a lot of 
so many moving pieces, so many factors that could cause it to skyrocket. And I could be completely wrong. We could go for a small bull run, right, um, or a bull trap, and we see the price spike up and then come right back down. Um, that could potentially happen um, when these products do get released. Um, we see it all the time when there's any type of news that gets released, bullish news. You know, you see a bunch of FOMO come in and then drop off right away. Um, people just take their profits of what they could take especially people who maybe have been holding for a longer period of time and just want to get out of the project um, or just people who are just trying to swing trade. But this isn't a project for people to swing trade. So I don't know why someone would do that. But then again, all I'm saying is for 2023, I'm very bullish on the products coming out. Now, I'm not bullish on a ton of price movement. Um, so those are really my thoughts on where I see SafeMoon going um, and – I think the NFT marketplace that Safe was trying to put out, I wasn't expecting that really. That was not the announcement that I was expecting. And I think that's great. I think having a vertical integration within your model, right? Having an NFT marketplace, having your own centralized exchange, having your own card, having your own, having this entire ecosystem is great. I think there's nothing wrong with that. Some people are like, why are we even doing? There's so many other NFT marketplaces. That's true, but if you can create a whole ecosystem that is very user-friendly, um, I think that will convert a lot of people over to it. Um, that is the issue, is that there's so many projects out there for people to choose. I mean, you scroll through here, and you see all these different projects. Um, you go through Query Market Cap, and you just see hundreds and thousands of cryptos and exchanges and all these different things so it's not necessarily like oh my goodness we're doing a game-changing product but safemoon has shown that they are a tech company and that's what they're striving for so i think given the recent climate we won't see a lot of price movement but i do believe we will be getting the products this year um, last year i didn't say that we would necessarily get all the products. Um, I was obviously let down by not getting the centralized exchange as we were told we were going to get. So now really I look at everything just kind of, all right, if it comes, it comes. If it doesn't, that's fine. Again, my minimum holding period is five years um, with this. So we're in year two of Safe Moon. So in the next three years, Whatever happens, happens. I'm not in any rush. And if this project does well within these next three years, great. If it doesn't, it is what it is, you know. Um, so those are just really my initial thoughts. I hope that you guys had a great Happy New Year's and a Christmas uh, with your loved ones. And I say this is going to be a bright bright year for Safe Moon. I think as the DeFi space, I think it's going to be a great year. Um, and I look forward to seeing what SafeMoon continues to do, keeping you guys updated, keeping you guys posted. And I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on what you guys are expecting for this year in the comment section down below. And with that, make sure to follow me on Twitter as well at SafeMoonSurge. I would greatly appreciate that. And I will talk to you all in the future.